Hey, we're coming today. I want to answer the question, what is a Casimir Mechanism? This could be an extremely relevant to DLC 3 because we should be seeing the Ascension Group's triumphant return. All in-game hints are pointing toward a Russian city in World War II with the Ascension Group present and in power. The Easter egg could have callbacks to the original zombie Easter egg, the one in Ascension. I think it would be great for us all to know what it even was. Let's start in Ascension. When we enter the map, we hear the start of the Ascension Easter Egg with Gersh contacting you from an ethereal dimension. He is trapped in what many theorists believe to be the Aether. Originally, Gersh is sucked into the Gersh device by Yuri Savolsky during the Ascension Radio years before our characters arrive. The entire Easter Egg revolves around turning on five nodes, yes five, and freeing Gersh from his dimension. We even hear Richtofen comment about the dimensional rift we just created. Fascinating! On dimensional rift! Goodbye, Gersh. It would have been good to know you. Now, during the Easter egg, Richtofen also makes a comment about the device being related to Hendrix's work. Fascinating. This Casimir mechanism is so intriguing, Casimir. Could this be related to Hendrix's work? Who Dr. Richtofen is referring to is Heinrich Casimir, who is famous for his Casimir effect. In an extremely simplified explanation, when two conducting metal and dielectric plates are placed in parallel in a vacuum, it alters their expected value. There are videos showing two metal plates in a vacuum separating the distance between themselves because of this theory with no ulterior forces. Now you may say, what do two parallel plates have to do with zombies? In Ascension, it is a round device. Well, it may share the name, but it is not the same thing. This is where everything gets interesting. During the Doris massacre, we know the Russians stole technology from Doris and began to reverse engineer the scientific discoveries by Group 935. Check out my Doris massacre video over on my channel. It'll be linked in the cards and description down below for more information. You can see throughout the map with new perk machines and equipment at the facility, the success of the reverse engineering. During the radios, we hear about the tasks concerning Project Mercury and Thunder. What we care about is Project Mercury, or rather the Gersh device. The Gersh device, as we know it, opens a portal to the ether that sucks the zombies in and teleports us if we are to jump through. Based on the in-game facts, it was a prototype based off Die Glock back in Doris. Die Glock, or the Bell, is a whole secret project the Nazis had trying to create flying saucers, teleportation, and time travel, what would later become the MTD in our zombies game. Originally, our game was completely based off these conspiracy theories and all the lore surrounding the secret projects that the Nazis started to work on. Jimmy Zelensky really liked to incorporate quantum physics into his zombie storyline. The Gersh device was one of the prototypes in the Ascension Group's work to recreate Die Glock or the teleporters. If we compare the Die Glock machines to the Casimir mechanism in Ascension, we can see the similarities. What we are interacting with at Ascension is really another version of Die Glock. A new question arises. If this really isn't the Casimir device, then why is it named that and what is? Both are excellent questions. First, the name we can only assume to be the phrase the Russians coined based on their work. Their goal was to create what the Nazis already did and were working toward that device. Second, the real Casimir mechanism is on the moon. Listen to these quotes by Richtofen first before I get into the explanation. Ah, good. The plate I was looking for. Now, where did I put the Casimir holder? Now to connect it to the computer system. We need to connect the Casimir mechanism to the computer system. A Casimir effect only occurs when there is a vacuum. Time to charge up the Casimir mechanism. Rick often refers to the plates we pick up in Area 51 and transport to the moon as Casimir plates. He then calls in the Casimir mechanism when they attaches the plates and clearly connects it to the computer. The parallel plates are put in a vacuum by the wire as Rick often clearly states. All of this echoes Heinrich Casimir's findings in our game. The significance of these plates is what allows the real device to be charged. This machine is paramount to giving Richtofen ultimate power. Without it, the whole plan falls apart. Think about it. All this time on Moon, we had the Casimir mechanism right in front of our faces. It's so exciting to see these little things happen over time, and some people recognize this, but not the mass majority. By the way, where have we heard charging occur already this year? Oh yeah, the summoning key on Der Eisendrach. Easily, we could see that resurface in DLSA 3 through the Casimir mechanism. We also have thought-provoking quotes from Takio. I hope you, in turn, free someone else who needs it. 
Treyarch could possibly play with this outdated quote and incorporate it into our next map's big easter egg. Ciphers on Zestabun no Shima hint towards Gersh's return, and Jason Blundell has also confirmed that will be lots of information coming on the Ascension Group in upcoming maps. One last interesting quote to point out, when Richtofen opens the first Soul Jar, he refers to the process as activating the Anti-Casimir Mechanism. Now to realign the anti cathera Mechanism. We know this to be separate from the computer because these steps can be done in any order and refer to one another separately. What is even more interesting is Richtofen's failing memory throughout the maps. Even in Moon, he says he should have remembered how these things worked. Of course! The machine is powered by life force! How silly! I should have remembered that. This could help prove our multiverse theories and why he doesn't recognize the machine at Ascension, but took the crew there. I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas about what the anti casimir mechanism could be in the comments down below. We know how it interacts with the MPD and what we did with the souls, but what exactly would be the anti casimir mechanism on the pyramid device? It's really weird how Richtofen referred to it. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video and learn something new about zombies. Make sure to subscribe for more zombie content and Call of Duty content. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much to our Patreons that make these videos possible, especially Kingdom Hops, I'm Beefy, Brian, and 117. Thank you for your generous contributions. On screen, you can check out Entertainment Realm, where we have a Civil War review and a Revenant review coming out later this week. We in Rattles 27, we have the weekly review where you can see all the videos you missed this week and preview if you actually want to see them. And on Rat Plays, we have our Uncharted 4 Let's Play. You can binge watch the whole playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.